propane potato can, a uh, quarter inch plywood about 20 feet away. This one's packed in pretty good, so let's see how it does. Quarter inch piece of plywood with potato. Alright, so I'm gonna do a little demo of operating potato cannon. Got the uh, the nice rifled barrel from spudtech.com. Let's see if I can get a shot of that. You can see it, but there's some rifling all the way down the barrel. And a nice knife on the end. And we've got, on the actual launch, we got our propane tank down here at the bottom, which is a feed that goes up to a pressure regulator and a valve that fills this metering tube. So you turn the turn the propane on, fills up and turn this valve on, and it fills up this hose with a certain amount of propane. Turn that valve off, turn this valve on, and then it empties it into the chamber for the same amount of propane each time. Then down here we have our switches for the ignition and for the fan. I'll just look inside real quick. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a fan, PC, regular PC fan in there turning that mixes up the air when the propane's inside, and then also after a shot it vents it out, gets all the, the burnt air out. And we turn that off. And then I'm going to do a little demo of the stun gun ignition, which is a little spark strip on the right that has four sparkers on it. That's a 950,000 volt portable stun gun that I took apart and made a little spark strip for it. And that ignites it every single time. Alright, so I already have the, the propane in and I have the potato in and it's ready to shoot. So I'm going to see if I can hold the camera on the barrel and fire. Go ahead and turn the. I have the fans running right now to vent the uh, chamber. Now I'm arming the stun gun ignition. So let's see what this does with the camera on the barrel. Should hit those power lines in the far in case you can't follow it. And hit. 